So this question looks like a translate word problem question, just given the length of it. And what I want to do here, instead of reading the entire question, I'd want to only read a sentence at a time, making sure I understand that sentence before, or making sure I understand the information provided in that sentence before moving on to the next sentence, and also making sure that I write down any quantitative information provided in the sentence, um, and making sense of that quantitative information before moving on. So the question says, Armin is trying to decide whether to buy a season pass to his college basketball team's 20 home games this season. All right, so I understand what that means. There's no, so we do have the 20 home games. I will write that down. So there are 20 home games, HG. Uh, the next sentence says, the cost of an individual ticket is $14. All right, so first of all, with this, with the 20 home games, we're going to get a season pass. Versus a, you know, one home game is $14. The cost of a season pass is $175, right? So I'm going to cross this out and put $175. The season pass will admit Armin to any home basketball game at no additional cost. What is the minimum number of home basketball games Armin must attend this season in order for the cost of a season pass to be less than the cost of buying an individual ticket for each game he attends? All right, so I don't, so here's what I know I know that one home game is going to cost $14, but he can technically go to 20 home games for $175. So we're trying to figure out, well, how many home games makes the season pass make more sense than the individual? And the question very literally tells us exactly how we should translate this, right? So we have, uh, where's it say, Armin must attend. So how many, what is the minimum number of home games, so I'm reading here, of home games, of home basketball games Armin must attend this season in order for the cost of a season pass, so it's the cost of a season pass, 175 to be less than, right, so less than, the cost of buying an individual ticket. So this is 14, and I'm going to say X, right? And X just means home, the number of home games, okay? So here is my translation of the actual question part. So I just need to simplify this, so I divide by 14. So I go to my calculator and I divide 175 by 14. And what I get here is that 175 divided by 14 is 12.5. So 12.5 is less than X. Another way to read that or to think about that is that X is greater than 12.5, right? So the minimum number would be 13. Right, 13 is the smallest. So here's how I think about it. If X should be greater than 12.5, that means it cannot be 8, it cannot be 9, it cannot be 12. Both 13 and 20 are greater than 12.5, but 13 is the minimum, right? What is the minimum number of home games? That's the minimum number that's greater than 12.5. So another way to solve this really is by plugging in answers. This is a much more logical way, and you may prefer this way. And just, to, just so you know, this strategy can always be used, or I would say 99% of the time, if the setup is a question is asking for a single variable, in this case, home games, right? And all of the answer choices represent that variable, right? So all these numbers here represent the number of home games. Then typically, we can just plug those values in. So how do we test that? So for instance, for choice F, We'd say, well, if there were eight home games, we know that for individual tickets, you'd be paying eight times 14. We know that eight times 14, if we go to our calculators, is 112. And we'd say, if he only attended eight home games and he paid $112, um, I'm sorry, if he only attends eight home games after buying a season pass, then he's wasted some money, right? He should have instead paid for individual tickets. And that's how we would go about answering the rest of these here. And what you'd find is that J, right, at 13, so we see that G would not work, H would not work. 
But j, when we get to 13 times 14, which again, in my calculator is, okay, let me I type the wrong thing, 13, 13 times 14 is $182. Then we say, okay, now, right, you're saving money because if you had, instead of buying a season pass for 175, you instead decided to just buy individual home games, but you're going to go to 13 of these home games. Now you're paying more than the season pass amount. And you should have, if you knew in advance that you were going to attend so many games, instead of buying individual game tickets, you should have purchased a season pass.